Hello students, let us introduce ourselves to the chapter pair of linear equations in two variables. Recall that in class 9 we studied about linear equation in two variable. We also learned how to plot the graph of the linear equation. We used to get a straight line. You remember? Okay, in this chapter we are going to study about the graphical method of solution of a pair of linear equations. Then algebraic methods of solving a pair of linear equations. In this we will be learning various methods like substitution method, elimination method, cross multiplication method and then we will also look into equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables. Two linear equations in the same two variables are called a pair of linear equations in two variables. The most general form of pair of linear equations is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Likewise, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, where a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 are real numbers such that a1 square plus b1 square is not equal to 0 and a2 square plus b2 square also is not equal to 0. So students, a pair of linear equations in two variables can be represented and solved by the graphical method and algebraic method. In the graphical method, the graph of a pair of linear equations in two variables is represented by two lines. If the lines intersect at a point, that point gives the unique solution of the two equations. In this case, the pair of linear equation is said to be consistent. If the lines coincide, then there are infinitely many solutions, each point on the line being a solution. In this case, the pair of equations is said to be consistent. In the third case, if the lines are parallel, then the pair of equations has no solution. In this case, the pair of equations is inconsistent. Let us start with your exercise 3.1. The first question says, Aftar tells his daughter, 7 years ago, I was 7 times as old as you were then. Also, 3 years from now, I shall be 3 times as old as you will be. Isn't this interesting? Represent this situation algebraically and graphically. See, let present age of Aftar we had taken x years and his daughter's age we had taken as y years. And we saw that first condition says 7 years ago. Ago means minus. I will be using 7 years before. x minus 7 is equal to 7 into y minus 7. On simplifying, we get x minus 7 is equal to 7y minus 49. That gives x minus 7y is equal to minus 49 plus 7. That gives us x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. Second condition says 3 years later. That means x plus 3 is equal to daughter also will become y plus 3. So 3 times y plus 3 is equal to x plus 3 is equal to 3y plus 9 on opening the brackets. So, x minus 3y is equal to 6. Thus, the algebraic equations are x minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0 and x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, these two equations we will solve and we will get the values in tabular form. Look at the first equation here. We have minus 7y is equal to minus 42 minus x. If I bring x to the side, signs will change. I have 7y is equal to 42 minus x and that is, sorry, plus x and it is 42 plus x upon 7. Now, for various values of x, I will be able to calculate different values of y. If I put x is equal to 0, I get y is equal to 6. 42 upon 7 is 6. 
Likewise, if I take minus 42, 42 minus 42 gives me 0. So, the value of y is 0. And if I take the value of x as minus 35, I will get 7 upon 7 that is 1. So, these values will be plotting on the graph. Now, for the next equation, x minus 3y is equal to 6. I can take minus 3y is equal to 6 minus x or 3y is equal to x minus 6. y is equal to x minus 6 upon 3. Look here, if I take the value of x as 6, 6 minus 6 is 0. So, 0 upon 3 is obviously 0. And if I take the value of x as 0, 0 minus 6 upon 3 gives me minus 2. Likewise, if I take the value of x as 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 upon 3 is 1. So, these are the values we have got for the two different equations. Now, let us see the graph, how it looks like. This is our x axis, x dash o x and this is our y axis, y o y dash. We have the points here 0 to 12 and here negative integers. Here we have positive and these are again negative. Now, I have plotted the points 6 comma 0. Here it is 9 comma 1 and 12 comma 2. Uh, this is the graph of equation x minus 3y minus 6 is equal to 0. Likewise, for the first equation x minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0. We have the points here 7 comma 7 and 0 comma 6. And this is the graph of the two linear equations given in the question. I hope you have understood. Let us go to the next question. The coach of a cricket team buys three bats and six balls for rupees 3,900. Later, she buys another bat and three more balls for the same kind for rupees 1,300. Represent this situation algebraically and geometrically. Yes, friends, let us look into the solution of this equation. We have let the cost of one bat be rupees x and the cost of one ball be rupees y. Then according to the question, we have 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900 and second equation x plus 3y is equal to 1300. For geometrical representation from first equation, look here, we have 6y is equal to 3900 minus 3x which can be written as y is equal to 3900 minus 3x upon 6. You can see here. Now, if I put various values of x, I will get different values of y. Look here, if we take x is equal to 100, it gives me 3900 minus 300 that is 3600 divided by 6 is 600. Likewise, if I take x is equal to 300, 300 into 3 gives me 900. So, 3900 minus 900 is 3000 divided by 6 is 500. Likewise, when x is equal to 700, 700 into 3 is 2100, we get y is equal to 3900 minus 2100 that is 1800 divided by 6 that gives us 300. So, this is the tabular column we have made for various values of x and y. We will be plotting on the graph. From equation 2, we have y is equal to 1300 minus x upon 3. Here, for different values x is equal to 100, we get y is equal to 1300 minus 100 upon 3 that gives us 400. Likewise, when we take x is equal to 400, y is equal to 1300 minus 400 upon 3, that is 300. And when I take x is equal to 700, y is equal to 1700 minus 1300 minus 700 upon 3 is equal to 200. This way, we have again a tabular column. x is 100, so y is 400. For 400, it was 300. And for 700 was 200. So, these points will be plotting on the graph. Graph looks like this. We have taken, we do not require negative values. So, we have taken the first quadrant of the graph. We have taken here 100, 200, 300. We are marked on x axis and likewise on y axis also. By plotting the points, you can see here this is 100, 400, 
400 comma 300 and 700 comma 200. If I join this, I get the graph of x plus 3y is equal to 1300 and by plotting the points 100, 600, 300, 500 and 500 comma 400, I get line of the graph uh, 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900. So, this is the pair of equations which is depicted by the graph. Let us look into the next question. The cost of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes on a day was found to be rupees 160. After a month, the cost of 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes is rupees 300. Represent the situation algebraically and geometrically. So, students, let us take the cost of 1 kg of apples as x rupees and cost of 1 kg grapes as y rupees. And first condition was 2x plus y is equal to 160. If I put various values of x and y, it will satisfy the equation. Let us take when I take x is equal to 80, I get 2 into 80 plus y has to be 0. So, it is 80 comma 0. Likewise, if I take the value of x as 60, 60 into 2 is 120 plus 40 that gives me 160. And likewise, for 40, we get 80. So, this is a tabular column for the first condition. And here, second condition is 4x plus 2y is equal to 300. For various values, you see here, we get, when we take x is equal to 60, 60 into 4 is 240 plus 2y is equal to 300. On solving, we get y is equal to uh, 30. And likewise, if I take 40, we get value of y as 70. Likewise, for when x is equal to 20, we get the value of y as 110. Now, let us plot this on the graph. Let us see how we can get the points plotted on the graph here. We had the values. This x axis, we are taking the cost of apples as 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. And on y axis, we are taking the cost of grapes. So, likewise, when we have plotted here 70, 10 and here we have 50, 50 and here this point 25, 100 and we join these points to get the graph of equation 4x plus 2y is equal to 300. Likewise, by plotting the points 80, 0, 70, 20 and 40, 80, we have got another line for the equation 2x plus y is equal to 160. Can you see we get pair of parallel lines here. So, students, I think you have understood the graphical representation of these questions. Now, let us take down some questions as assignment. First question, 5 years ago, A was thrice as old as B and 10 years later, A shall be twice as old as B. What is the present age of A? Question number 2. Gunjan has only 1 rupee and 2 rupee coins with her. If the total number of coins that she has is 50 and the amount of money with her is 75 rupees, then find the number of 1 rupee and 2 rupee coins. So, students, please try to form equations and draw the graphs of the same. Thank you. So, students, I hope you have understood the concept of these pair of equations. Today, we did it in a graphical way and also we learned the three conditions when the pair of equations are having unique solution, no solution or dependent system that is they have infinitely many solutions. Thank you.